hello everyone and welcome back in this tutorial so in this video we are going to continue our character and we will implement it in a different way so the way it is currently implemented is on your side in your player you for example move your player and then you tell the server okay i moved move me here so the server will sync your player and afterward the server will sync your character to all of the other clients the way we are going to do it right now is you will tell the server okay server move me right here the server will move you and after it will sync your character to all of the clients including your own game so let's get started let's start by going to the character brief so the way we do that is first of all we need to switch those two components those two components will allow you to control your character from your side but now we no longer need them and add, instead we need to add a network animator as well as a network transfer and let's drop the animator right here and let's edit those as well and here we go so let's add a script called for example network network communication for example and let's open it and here we need to do a couple of methods that we want to call from the other script the player script that will control our player from the server side so let's start by using unity unity dot net code and let's convert that to network behavior instead and let's remove those so let's start by saying server rpc and here let's say move player server rpc and let's make it public and retain void and the structure of this method is you first wanna do this server rpc inside of those brackets and after you implement the method and you should it is important to end your method with server rpc prefix uh, every time you try to call this method instead of it being called in your side it will actually go to the server and it will be called on the server side instead of your side and this will actually make the game more secure and more accurate so let's for example take vector 3 let's call it position and here what we want to do is let's get a reference for our character controller so let's say character controller character controller and on the awake method let's say character controller is equal to get component get component for the character controller and here we take a vector 3 position and we say character controller dot move and we give it the position here we go this is the first one so the next one we do is let's do another one and here let's say instead of moving let's call it animate player and in our situation if we go to the player script the only thing we wanna synchronize is the boolean is running so we can just pass the value of it so we go back we here say what we wanna take is boolean state and here we say we also wanna get a reference for our animator animator and here animator is equal to get component for the animator so here we give it instead of move we say animator dot set pool and we give it the is running and we give it the state that we want to change another one we want to synchronize is the rotation of the character so let's copy this and let's instead of saying move let's say rotate and we give it a 
aqua ternion and we call it rotation and here the transform dot rotation is equal to rotation one more method i want to implement which is moving the player vertically on the y-axis so i want to do that move player let's call it y which means on the y-axis and it will just move it on the y-axis awesome this is all we need for the script so let's go to the player script now and here we go so what we want to do here is every time we want to change the transform or the animator of the character we should instead of like calling it directly from here we should call one of those methods that we can call from here so let's get started if we scroll down the first one we can find is actually right here so we can see that here we move the player locally so instead of doing that what we want to do is so let's get a reference for this component first so let's come down here and call network communication and on the awake method let's say network communication is equal to get component network communication so if we scroll down here we can find this so we say network communication dot move player on the y-axis since it is gravity and we can grab this and paste it right there and we can just delete this so we can look for more modification of the animator or the transform components and we can see this one which is transform dot rotation so here we can say network communication dot rotate and we can just give it this one here we go here there is another movement so we can say network communication dot move player and we can just give it this and here there is the animator we can just change that easily network communication dot animate player and we give it true let's just copy that delete this one and here we give it false and we delete this one and another thing i want to edit here which is on network spawn so i need to edit those so the first thing we need to do is if we are the server since it is server side the teleportation should be on the server side not on the owner side so we take those and we put them in the server after else we want to disable the character controller on the other clients and here if we are the owner we need to set the priority to 100 so we can look at our character and else we need to disable the other player script for other players so this so enabled is equal to false and this should do the work so let's start host and then we join the game and let's enter our game and you can actually see that i can move very nicely from both pcs and i can actually feel the delay from the other side since it is uh, a server side which means whenever i move from the other laptop it will send an rpc which is the server rpc that we created to this pc and this pc will move the character and it, then it will sync it back to the character so it, you can feel the delay 